Hello everyone, welcome back to Sims 2 Princess. I'm so happy to have you here on my channel. So right in front of me I have Rain and if you have been watching my Kukwa in the City series which is a let's play that I have on my channel about a young girl who moves to the city, my custom city called San Alto. Um, definitely look at my channel, check out the playlist, I have all the episodes listed there. Rain was actually, she's you know, a, a friend of the cast. <laughs> she is a singer and she's my celebrity sim who worked her way up from middle school or elementary school music teacher to actual renowned singer and this is her husband and he is an athlete um, a low-level kind of a d-list athlete who's looking to enter into entrepreneurship um, and they like I said moved from the suburbs to the city because it just felt like it was the right time um, they've been together for a very long time they are older adults they thought that the suburbs was for them because they wanted to start a family uh, rain is a family Sam they wanted to start a family they wanted to have children but honestly career stuff just kind of got in the way rain's music career kicked off and Devin um, was doing well with his with his athleticism so I moved them into this new condo and I'm gonna give you all a grand tour I'm using pineapple effects which is what I use to get that kind of like blurry depth of field all right so this is the condo that they live in and they are on the top floor I did build this myself I have some plans for this plot of land that you can see right beside the condo that's why it's empty I'm actually in the process of kind of mapping out um, a restaurant that I want to build and so um, this is why it's bare for now, but I will eventually build it out. And of course, this is the city that I play in, a custom city I'm building out called San Alto. All right, and I did want to show you the back or the backyard, I guess, of the um, apartment. It's not the backyard, but whatever it is. Um, yep, we have a little hot tub here and then some lounge chairs and it's just really like chill vibes. Uh, this condo is probably like quite exclusive and it's... Um, kind of reserved for those who can afford the rent basically because it is quite expensive apartment and as you can um, see their apartment is completely empty i just moved them in and so i was thinking that we could do a bit of a decorating um together type of thing and just kind of like chill out uh it's raining where i am i hope you're all doing great um it's raining where i am um and so i'm inside today no plans uh, i do have some work to do later but girl that can you know it's the weekend <laughs> we can work later so yeah, I'm using this pose box here by Dee Dee Sims, a couple's pose box, to pose them up as you see. And I use my ring light from Jackie93Sims, so this is some behind the scenes um, footage, and I love them. They're literally the cutest ever. And just behind the scenes, if you want them to look at you, there's a mod that allows you to click on your sim when you are controlling them. And you can click look at player. And then if I go into tab mode, zoom in a bit and press play, they both look at me. And so this is also a nice little hack. Uh, this picture is cute. <laughs> I'm going to take a screenshot. There's also a nice little hack when you're taking pictures and you want your sims to like look at you or, you know, you want one of them to look at you and one of them to like kiss the cheek or something like this. Like this is a really cute way to get it done. And so this is how behind the scenes, how I pose my sims. Don't they look absolutely stunning? And then with the pineapple effects mod, which I'll leave the link down below to where I download it. Um, I can't do a full video because I don't even fully understand the mod, but it basically changes how your Sims game looks visually. It is a very powerful mod. If you have a weak computer like me, you're not going to be able to play in this mode. So I just turn it on, I take pics, I do what I got to do, and then I turn it off. I recommend you go on Pinterest because they have so many pose boxes and like I find all my cool things when it comes to poses mainly on Pinterest and you can Funny. see that with Devin his wants are to buy a toilet buy a bathtub buy a fridge because he literally oh he wants to take his wife on a date and you can see that he has 18 days to be an elder and she has 15 so she's a bit older than him um which is fine and she also wants to uh go on a date and she wants to obtain a pet that's cute She's a family sim, they don't have any kids, and she is getting older, so I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that they'll have kids, but let me tell you the tea, okay? Devin is a, uh, what is this, a fortune sim, right? But his secondary aspiration, it's giving very much romance, as you can see right here. And so, sometimes I find that he kind of like rolls wants for other women. 
you can see that he has like other relationships like he's best friends with ivy kapoor and he finds her attractive he finds tyra attractive tyra is a married woman she has like two kids she's you know double down on her life uh he finds lashan attractive he also finds cheyenne uh, very attractive. Okay, Marilena attractive, Sydney attractive. He finds a lot of women attractive. Um, notably enough, him and another sim, this sim right here, Cheyenne, three bolts. He also thinks that Kaz is attractive. So he finds a lot of women attractive and from time to time he rules wants to flirt with them uh, or to be friends with them. And I'm just like, <sighs> And I kind of feel like Rain, who's a family sim, I think she kind of catches wind that, like, he's not ten toes down, you know? He's not, like, planted. And I think that's why she's been hesitant to have children and to, you know, have a family with him because her worst fear is, you know, losing her family. And so, of course, she doesn't want to start something that she doesn't think will last. So I think there's some hesitancy there. They're still married. I would say they're happily married, but he has a little bit of a wandering eye. It's not too bad, and lately it's calmed down, but girl, I was I was so stressed. Okay, so let's uh, stop posing them. Oops, there we go. And behind the scenes, if you want to stop posing them, just force error reset. Make sure that bullprop testing is on force error reset don't click delete reset okay so let me give you a quick tour of this apartment now i've kind of made a pledge to myself that when i build apartments because you all know i love to build apartments they're my favorite thing to build uh, and i did build this one when i build apartments i committed to making sure that the apartment has more than one bedroom i for some reason i'm always making apartments that have one bedroom i don't know what is wrong with me so i committed this time to making sure that this one has two they don't have kids or anything so i think the other one will be like a little bit of an office with like a little bit of a closet situation um of course this is the bathroom and then this will be their bedroom my thinking is that when you walk in this area is going to be the um, living area then this middle is going to be the dining and then this portion is going to be the kitchen so it's going to be kind of like a linear um a linear situation that's my thinking so why don't we just kind of get started i did just coat the walls and i made them this color only because i was building and i couldn't be bothered and this can easily be changed when you're actually playing your game so they are celebrities and they're rich <laughs> so um we're not gonna hold back at all let's start with the wall this is paneling my mashup simple paneled if you're interested in um, where I got this from, it's by my mashup simple panel. I'm sure if you Googled this, you would you would see it. Um, so that's kind of what's on the walls right now. But I think we need we need something different. Um, I don't want all my Sims homes to be kind of sterile. I want them to have color and to be vibrant. Uh, I kind of want this home to be a bit dark. I kind of want it to have like greens and browns. That's my thinking here, um, but I can't resist a good panel wall. I really can't. Like, it's something about the panels that just add some sort of elevated look, I guess. Then I have this, which is like a deeper. Yeah, I like this. Okay, so I think we're going to go with this green. I'm going for like kind of an eclectic kind of vintage not vintage but i mean if you just became a celebrity like you'll probably deck out your place and really go hard because they were living in like a very small home they owned it though so that was nice they were able to pay it off um but i think i like this i am going to change the flooring because it doesn't match at all uh and i would like some brighter wood i didn't put this flooring to stay i just again slapped whatever i wanted on there yeah i would like some some wood i think uh, that's not bad. What do we think? And I'll try to be telling you where things are from. Sometimes I forget, so I'm really sorry. This is the Rufio wood floor um, that I like. I do like that. I like kind of like a rustic wood, like not like a perfect wood, if that makes sense. Um, and I usually like something deeper like this, but I think for this place, even this is nice. Kind of like complements the green with the little um, different shades 
on the ground so I think we're gonna go with this I don't want everything to be like black and white like I do want there to be an element of color and like something a bit brighter like this is kind of nice it's kind of like sandy but let's recolor the tops here and see because sometimes a nicer richer color suits it better but I hope that you guys are all doing well um, I was away on my channel for like a month, a month and a half. I do pre-record some of my videos, not all of them. So sometimes I would have filmed a video like a month ago, but you're just now seeing it because I just kind of scheduled it that way so that I'm not kind of burdened with making Sims videos because life is lifing. Um, so I hope that everyone's doing good. I hope you're all enjoying my content. I've lately been seeing people on TikTok create like dollhouses like miniature dollhouses and um i think that is literally the coolest thing ever and i was thinking to myself and i'm just like you know sims is kind of like a dollhouse and i'm really happy that myself and all the others that watch my videos um get to kind of like be expressive and play sims play with our dollhouses because a lot of us like when you're younger i'm sure you didn't get like all your barbie stuff you know, like when I was younger, I wanted like everything Barbie. Like I wanted the whole Barbie dream house. And like we could not afford that. <laughs> like what do you mean? <laughs> we could not afford that. And now I'm older and I'm playing Sims and decking out my Sims homes with things that I like. And like I love that for me. Because in a way this is like satisfying my dollhouse dreams or dollhouse desires. I like this fridge. What do you guys think? I know this one's cool because it's like a smart fridge or whatever, but I like this fridge. I like the water filter on it. It looks nice. The kitchen can go this way. Like so. And then we, do we want to do a little more? We can put one more there and then change our mind later. I don't know the kitchen going the direction of the window is something I always do and that's why I wanted to just change it up um, it's not ugly or anything I just kind of want to do differently I don't know what top this is so I'll have to change it um, and then we have like the island area here and it can just be I mean I don't know that they cook that hard but <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, are you guys really making all these meals? I don't know. Look at this uh, Sims 4 to 2 conversion I got. Don't we love this? I'm so tired of this garbage can. Like, sorry, but we're bored. Or add this, because this one makes it look a little more, yeah. Complete. That's kind of cute. I'm kind of obsessed. Um... Yeah, just to like add some difference into the space. Found it after much digging. Um, it was very hard for me, but I found it. I was literally looking for this stove range. And I also found this uh, pots set that I don't know that if I like it or not, but I found it. So I'm going to just put it there. Uh, we now need to look for cabinets, which again, they could be in shelves, right? Oh, do I like that? Like right above the hood range? I kind of love I kind of love. Uh, should have uh, grabbed another one. That's cute as well. Should we do one over the fridge and just be a little extra? I think yes, we should. And then there's a corner piece. Let's see if the corner piece actually kind of suits our vibe. We don't want it to be too cabinet cabinet. Oh, this is very nice, honey. Wow. Should we move this uh, pots and pans thing? Are we feeling that? Because uh, I think if we move it, we could put a shelf in here. You know what? Let me not delete it just in case I change my mind. Let me just move it. We could put a shelf in here, one of those like wooden ones, and make it into like a spice rack or something. This is um, Loft Bath Shelf for the Bathroom by Chanel KCR. This is also very cute though. Does it have recolors? No. But I like it. Can we lift it up just a tad bit? This is cute. Now I did pull out this um, kettle that I saw, this antique teapot. I'm going to turn on bullcrap, snap objects to grid false. 
Yeah. And that takes off the grid, of course. And I'm using Lamar's shiftable everything. So I can move everything up and down as I please. This is why I keep telling you all to get this mod because it's very helpful. And I'm going to put the teapot on the stove. Isn't it so cute? And it's green, so it kind of like, it's teal or whatever, but it, it ties in really lovely. Do you see how far the garbage is from the counter? It's actually ridiculous, so I'm going to put it like way closer, like that. Beautiful, you guys. We did it. We did it. This one I use a lot. I like it a lot, too. It's like that tousled vibe. Um, looks very lived in. It's the Pampa rug. I think I'm going to use this one. Just trying to figure out the recolor. That works here. Mm, the sun is coming out. I'm so excited about that. I think we'll use this one. I hope you guys have been having an amazing summer though. Uh, my summer has been pretty good. Last week I went to a cooking class with my good girlfriend and my husband and we had a good time. Um, I'm just going to kind of do it like that I guess. And then we need to add in our plumbing and our smoke detector. And then we're done in the kitchen. I think this, if it could be silver, like, I think it's fine. Does this, like, stand out to you all as weird? I don't think so. Like, it doesn't give me weird vibes, so I'm going to go with it. I think we can change the hardware on one of these. Two of these. No, I like the, the basic kind of sink there. And then we need a smoke detector. Of course we do. And I'm just going to hide it. Yeah, I'm just going to put it above the stove in the cabinet like that. Because it's going to kill the vibe. And I'm not in the mood for that. So this is the lovely kitchen that we have going on. And I think I'll clutter it and be right back. All right, so I pulled out some clutter. Sorry, I just started coughing like crazy. I did want to give like a little bit of a pro tip. When you're um, pulling out things, right, and you're seeing like, oh, I like this. Oh, this would be cute for the bedroom. You're going to lose it. This is Sims 2 we're talking about. It's not, you know, there's no search feature. It's going to be hard to go back and find things. So, for example, I'm looking through things for the kitchen, and I just came across this clutter item for a washer detergent and stuff perfect for the washroom so i'm gonna zip over to the washroom it's not done but i'm gonna put it in there and so you can see i put bleach some paper towels and some other little decals that i found along the way this helps a ton so if you find things that you like just pull them out i'm not sure i'm gonna use all these items but i know that i want to and i would consider them for other spaces in the home so i'm gonna pull them out i like these keys as well so i'm gonna put it there okay cool <laughs> so Let's talk about some of the things I grabbed um, because I think that they're all really earthy and they go with the kind of aesthetic I'm looking for. I pulled out this thing here because I thought this was really nice. It has like New York and like different architecture, architecture of different cities. And I thought that was cool because if they're well traveled, you know, maybe they've been around to different places. So that's like a nice thing to kind of display. Um, I found this uh, wood. What is this like a wood stack? firewood rack i'm not thinking of using this in the kitchen but i want to use it in the home so i'm just gonna push it here and we can use that later everything else that i grabbed was very earthy now i tried to grab things that i don't usually reach for so for example like i usually use this um i usually don't use this planter so i tried to reach for it i always use the morton salt and i always use the multiple spices so i'm not going to use them today I'm trying to uh, encourage myself to use different things. I rarely use these oils. Look at all of these oils. They're so nice. And these are all by Billie Jean. Same with these spices as well by Billie Jean. I always use this set, um, but I use a different recolor this time. I don't use these lemons or these candles. So I, I try to grab things that I don't normally use. All right, so yeah. this is the kitchen so far. And I think it looks so freaking stunning. This is it. As you can see all the olive oils and all of that all the different uh oh coffee beans sugar maybe some matcha come on matcha um and then we have some eggs we have a shopping cart a plant that she's giving some light some preservatives a kettle i have this spoon that i want to put up on the wall and now i never use this so i'm like now is a good time let me do it i'm gonna put it like right there 
and I'm gonna lift it up a bit yeah just like that beautiful and then on the island we have the big basket of lemons I'm sure people will ask me where it's from so let me try and find out where it is from it's from Veronichka Nika Onishko dot tumblr dot com perfect so this beautiful big basket of lemons this beautiful glass plant um some croissants and a coffee some keys on the side and this far corner i have this shelf here and then this beautiful plant this is one of my favorite plants um it looks absolutely stunning right i was thinking that i want to put the candles up on the island because i felt like they're pretty so i'm gonna put them i'm gonna put them there and then recolor the little musty just to give it a little bit of razzle dazzle this is absolutely stunning now we have to think about lighting um and then think about what we're doing on this side i kind of want to do something non-conventional on this side um so let's think about lights first and foremost usually i use this light here nola bathroom ceiling pot ceiling spot and i use this light pretty much because i can't be bothered uh, a hack is if you turn off the lights, if you make it nighttime, then you can kind of see better when you add in the light. See, you can see how much it will light up the space. I don't think we need a chandelier or anything. I think that this is literally so nice. Oh my gosh. Um, and then we'll put one more over here so that it's like two. Or we could just do one in total. Like right over the island. And then get rid of this yeah that's really freaking pretty i love it all right so i forgot to um think about these invisible kitchen counters i like to use them and place them in areas where i would want my sim to be able to prepare a meal so i would like this household to be able to cook right here because i think with the lemons and the coffee cup it's really pretty um, and so i'm going to add an invisible kitchen counter area right there um, and then also, I didn't think about appliances. So let's think about the type of appliances we would want our sim to have. I think right in this corner, because up here is coffee beans, sugar, and matcha, I guess it makes sense to have some sort of coffee machine. Uh, I also have some other like coffee decor, but I've used it, so I'm not like hurting to use it right now. So we are done the kitchen and I'm going to leave this at this point. I think that <laughs> I don't want to overload you guys with a super long video, but I'm going to continue recording and I'm going to continue the dining room, the living room, the bathroom, all the home. So yeah, I hope that you all enjoy. Let me know if you want me to tell you where I got anything. Um, be specific so that I know what to search for and how to help you find it if I can. And I'll find dupes if I can't. I hope that you all enjoyed and I'll see you in part two where we'll tackle the living room. Talk soon. Bye.